when winter comes in, I, I can't st- I don't understand people who like winter. I don't. I can't stop. It's my least favourite season out of all. But spring's brilliant, just because you know it's starting to warm up. It's starting to get a little bit more sun. Apart from today, and chuck it down. Uh, but yeah, it's starting to warm up a little bit more. You're, uh, people are a bit happier. And you can look forward to summer coming from around the corner. Now, I love spring more because I like to get in the garden time to time. I like getting out there, cutting the grass, doing a little bit of gardening round, uh, putting new flowers in if need be. But I really like, um, with the sun coming up early, I like getting up early on the weekend, making myself a nice cup of coffee, and sitting in the back garden. We have loads of. Um, house sparrows that nest in the holly tree behind my house and the every single year all you can hear as soon as the sun rises it's deafening at times you have so many of them it's, uh, it must be like at least 30 of them nesting in this tree but I love it I love uh, I love just being able to chill out in the sun with the dog and not have to worry about anything just chill out, nice cup of coffee, maybe a uh, pan au chocolat or something like that. Just a little pastry or something to go with it for my breakfast. It's, uh, that's for me, you know when people talk about like things that just make them happy, that's that's my that's my thing. So I'm a because I'm I'm a bit of a coffee snob. Started off like just drinking the cheap instant crap that everyone does. Before finding filter coffee when I was in the Falklands. Oh, first cup of that, Jesus Christ, I thought my head was going to uh, explode. But, yeah, I, uh, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm looking for new coffee to try, I'll uh, go on, uh, I'll, I'll go online and have a look around, I'll go to the shops and have a look around, and order a couple different types, see what I like. My favourite's for probably uh, uh, Levanta, if that's how you pronounce it properly. That's how I've always pronounced it, I don't know if it's correct. But that's what I uh, that's what I like to drink the most, the my little uh, stove top knocker. Uh, that's a new thing for me, I've always used like filter machines or uh, I had an pre- uh, Aeropress for a while, they're really good, I highly recommend them. Um, or what else have we used? Uh, we had one of those little Nespresso pod machines for a little while. I'm not a big fan of them, but it'll do. But yeah, my oh, and uh, I've tried one of those. Uh, is it uh, what do you call those? Semex or something like that? The little glass jars. I would have used the uh, like the American style drip filter machines as well. They're pretty good. I like them. Or Mocha, still my favourite Mocha espresso maker. Espresso, not espresso. No accent. But, yeah, that nice black coffee. I'm a bit of a heathen because I, I have a teaspoon of sugar in my For a bit of sweet, extra sweetness. That's like that's like one of the, like one of my little luxuries in life. It's just being able to pay out a little bit extra for just a nice cup of coffee. Instead of like even saying that, it's still cheaper for me to do that and get a expensive ground coffee and make it myself than it would be to just go to bloody Starbucks or Costa or Nero or whatever insert coffee shop here um, and pay for two cups of the standard Americano. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's just, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a bit of a hypocrite in saying that because I do. I do go to like the the local, um, the local our local independent coffee shop. And I know with uh, with my partner from time to time, and we'll go there and we'll have a we'll have a brew just so we can have a bit of a chill out and sit down and have a conversation. But that's few and far between. Just as long drinking it half the time. 
outside half the time, but it's I've got the last same. It's got cold. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's my that's a little little bit of something that, that I enjoy. Yeah. So in my last video, I asked uh, what people's favourite animals were. I don't want to a small channel, so I wasn't really expecting anyone to comment, but, no. The, uh, my, no, I, I don't really have a favourite, if I'm honest. I love, like, just seeing all different types of animals. The, uh, I do really like monkeys, like the spider monkey, I really like the spider monkey, that's a cool one. My, uh, my partner's favourite animal is the, uh, the red panda. And, uh, but yeah, she's always loved them. We go to a, uh, there's a zoo, uh, we can go to where uh, she likes to be able to see them and they have like a little thing where they, they let the, the red pandas out the enclosure to walk around people from time to time. Which, and they do a penguin march as well, that's, that's good. It's uh, something they like to, they do twice a day. I, just, I, I didn't even know what they did the first time we went, so it proper threw me off. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's got the animals I've got out? But uh, no, it's uh, uh, the kids are. Like, the youngest loves elephants and giraffes. She's always loved them. Absolutely adores them. Uh, our middle child, he loves uh, tigers and lions. And our eldest, he's. When he was younger, it was all about tigers. But older now, he's like, oh, that was too cool for that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's in high school now, so I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in that stuff anymore. It's all about Fortnite. That's crazy, I've never got into Fortnite. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love video games. I've grown up playing them and I can't get enough of them, but it's just fun. There's something, I, there's always been something about games with like cartoony graphics. Like the Fortnite style graphics or Borderlands as well. I mean, Borderlands story, I really like. I like the comedy aspect of it. Something like that. It's a bit like out there. But Fortnite, uh, the Battle Royale specifically, that wasn't even supposed to, the game wasn't even supposed to be a Battle Royale. It was supposed to be a proper game like. Uh, seven days to die and that's how like a pop-up survival game where each night you'd have a mob of enemies coming at you attacking you and you'd have to, you'd have to survive by building a better base each time building a better fort that's the whole point and they didn't attack you overnight time that's why it's called fortnite but no they released this free-to-play battle royale where it's got build mechanics in it and Everyone absolutely loved it. It was ease of access because everyone could join. Which you get. I mean, every, everyone could join it. No one has to worry about paying for it. As long as you've got a computer or a console that can run it. Or even these days, you can bloody mobile or like this. But yeah, as long as you can run it, then anyone can win. So, kids get hooked. Because it's cartoony graphics and it gives them that like, instant gratification, dopamine, so on and so forth. Get that. I'm like that with some games. Like you want that, you want that dopamine crush, you want to be able to feel like you're accomplishing something. But then it's all about the cosmetics then, isn't it? You can't run with the the latest uh, you can't run with the, the, the basic skins, the default skins, it has to be like what's the latest and greatest, like oh, it's the football players or uh, Rick and Morty, I think they had one of them on there and so on and so forth, I don't, I don't know, but it's always like oh I need the next one and that's how the epic was going to be, billions of Fortnite, absolute billions, that do to, that do to them like uh, with how they've done it, I mean, talk about a perfect market, a marketing strategy, I mean, the football players on there, and uh, big TV franchises, even, I'm pretty sure they had a, a rapper do an event on there or something, I don't know, yeah, no, I to. and then obviously they created the Epic Game Store, which loads of people hated on because they thought uh, they were pulling to the typos away from other platforms, which 
So what Steam's been doing for years. Steam's got its platform. Everyone's been using it for years. Now they've got the best, no one seems to like it, which was always, I never understood why, I mean, if you know why, leave a comment in the description down below, but I never could understand why um, people were so against Epic selling the same games on the platform that Steam sells on theirs. It's only the same as like Sony and Xbox doing the same thing. Like, people have never kicked up about that. It's like, Sony's got exclusive games. Um, Microsoft's got its exclusive games on Xbox. It's exactly the same thing, but for some reason people, uh, people seem to have a big thing with Epic doing it for like a limited uh, limited time exclusive uh, for like a year for some games. But they're paying for it. It's not like they're doing it for free. And people are saying, oh, the developers are selling out. So that's the whole point of the game. You want to make money? You make a game to make money? Yes. You make making a game, like, hopefully, because you love video games and you want to make something that you want to play. No, I get that. But at the end of the day, it's a business. And a business needs to make money to keep going. I mean, people who make FIFA, Call of Duty, Madden, uh, games like that, like big AAA titles, they don't make the games for the passion of it. It's a huge multi billion dollar and multi billion pound corporation. I mean, I think what was it the past couple of years now that the video game industry has overtaken Hollywood in uh, gross income? So, I think it's one of, I think video games is now the largest entertainment platform in the world, which, considering video games have only been around since the 80s and films have been around for, what, 100 years? Says a lot. Huge growth. But, I suppose some people don't like change, and that's for them. That's their, that's their problem. It's just something they've got to learn to live with, I suppose. Like, uh, the amount of games I've got just on Epic Games now, which were free. I never play them, I play them, I have played some. Some that I've played that I really enjoyed, and I would never have considered them before. Like, um, what's it called now? There's a platformer, I guess, it's, 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 it's more like I've never about. But, for it being that type of game, oh my god, the graphics, I didn't, I didn't think, because, uh, because I have a bit of a, a graphics hall when it comes to games. I, I love I love games which have got stupidly realistic graphics. So it's more it's because that makes it more immersive for me. That's what I love. But the um, this game, it was like even with it being a side scroll, it was the graphics, the, especially the background are absolutely stunning. Like whoever designed them. I hope they got awards for it because, oh my god, I'm, I'm going to have to look it up what it was called because I cannot remember what it was called, but I got it for free on the Epic Games Store. It should have been 30, 35 pounds, something like that. It took me about five, six hours to complete. I mean, it's a free game, I can't complain. Um, and I absolutely loved every single second that I played that game. It was, there was no, there was virtually no talking in it, apart from what the characters, your character couldn't talk. There was, it was just travelling around, trying to tackle puzzles, climbing puzzles, and stuff like that, you get little abilities as you went along. There was like big beasts that chase you every now and then, you had to keep away from them. Uh, you're just this little blue, like, I wouldn't say mon monkey, but you're like that type of character. Marsupial type character. I don't know, blue one, or you like blue bluish. So if you know what that is, let, let me know. I'll, I'll see if I can find out. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, oh, absolutely amazing. And I hope they brought bring out a second one. So that was funny. So yeah, I suppose that's why they say to, uh, to always try different things because of stuff like that. 
games. You do get some where you're like, oh my god. It's like, so it's, that's a game I'd have never played before. Because I normally, like, recently I found myself playing games like, um, uh, whenever I want to relax, relax, I play like World of Warships or War, uh, um, War Thunder. That's what it's called, War Thunder. I play that. Uh, then, if I want a little bit more action or something, I've got like um, Rainbow Six Siege. I enjoy playing that. So, if you know, like uh, combat. Mm. But um, and then. If I want a bit more realism, or I'll like a little bit of reenactment or roleplay, I play a little bit of uh, Hell at Loose. Don't play that too often, but do really enjoy that. Uh, I found most of the time though I'm playing uh, Rainbow Six at the moment, I've been really enjoying that one. It's, uh, that's a nice one to just, I wouldn't say chill out, but it's a nice one to like when you've got a bit of time to kill or you've got, uh, uh, you, you looking for a little bit of competitive play, should say, that's probably the right way of putting it. That's one that I really enjoy playing at the moment, it is really, really good. Uh, not very good at it. <laughs> I never claim to be good at a game like that, Jesus Christ, I'm awful. Uh, I think one of my, like, uh, bronze, not bronze, copper, whatever it is, like, bron yeah, bron bronze, uh, five, it's all really, really long. Uh, I don't really play ranked much. I, 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 I like to just play uh, casual play or quick play. I think it's called in this. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a good game. I didn't. I got into it really late. I got into it like season five. I want to say four, five, something like that. So it was a good few years into it. Like, yeah. I like to play it with friends. Not that too many friends play it anymore. Like, but it's much better. Any game's better to play with friends. I mean, that's why. Yeah, multiplayer in the first place. I mean, it's, yeah, it's great playing against other people, but having your friends there as well even better. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much. Yeah, I, uh, I'm looking for the next game though. I really want to get the Harry Potter. No, not the Harry Potter. It's not even like old Harry Potter, is it? Um, uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I really want to get that. I know there's a lot of controversy around it, but I stay away from politics and stuff like that. So for me, it's just like, does the game look good? Yes. Is it something I'm interested in? Yes. Uh, does it look like you can keep me entertained for a period of time? Yes, right? Like, let's get it. But when saving up for a wedding and a holiday, it's just not feasible at the moment. I might see if we can get it on disco at some point, but I doubt, it'll go on. I doubt with how popular it is, it'll be on disco anytime soon. And, uh, is there any games that I'm looking forward to coming out? Uh, I know there's one, and I can't think of what it's called now, but. There are a few games coming out. I don't, oh, Starfield! Oh. So you know that's a game I'm looking forward to coming out. That's a, it's a game like at first I wasn't too interested in it. Didn't really think anything of it. Thought it'd be like, no, it's going to be like uh, Star Citizen, where it's going to be janky. Hopefully it's not, and probably will be with the people tester. But then I feel like I'm falling victim to uh, the hype train. Everyone else is starting to get more and more excited about it now because it's just around the corner. And so I'm like, oh, well, it might be good. Well, I'm the type of person I'll go on like uh, Twitch or YouTube or like another streaming platform uh, and like, or even just TikTok, sh uh, TikTok and look at some of the, sh the shorts on that and I'll see what type of, uh, uh, what, the, what the game's like, how other people are perceiving it and then see like try and watch a little bit of the story from the beginning but not too much into it to ruin it for myself and if I, if I like it off the back of that then I'll uh, add it to the list of games that I want to play. Like I made the fatal mistake of, uh, I think a lot of people did this but I, I made the fatal mistake of falling for the hype for Anthem thought this is the next big thing. Jesus I really wanted that game to work. Like it was the first game in years where I thought to myself Oh my god, that is the game for me, and that is the only game I wanted to play, but then it came out. <laughs> As we all know, it was awful. It was a buggy mess. I found myself flying along, then I'd end up in the middle of a mountain. For some reason, the sky would just turn pink from time to time. I'd have like big glitch lines going through the middle of the game. And I just kept thinking to myself, they'll, they'll do a hot fix, they'll fix it. 
and then they kept trying to fix it and then there was a huge content gap in the game the game clearly clearly even after delays needed a lot more development but it just wasn't there and EA I think it was EA pretty sure it was if it was EA it explains a lot to me but they ditched it and now they've shut I think they've shut down the servers now actually saying that but yeah they uh they realised how much of a mess it is and decided no nope, we're done we're gonna pull the plug move on to the next project it's not gonna make us any money yeah it's a, it's a shame really because that game has huge potential I mean to be fair cyberpunk almost fell victim to the same thing like cyberpunk was a, a hot mess when that first came out luckily for cyberpunk they managed to fix it enough to get people to come back and uh, check it out because when that game first came out, I mean, I don't think I got it when it first came out. I got it as a Christmas present, this one. But I don't think I got it when it first came out, but it was definitely like around that, that holiday period that I got it. And I played it for about four to six hours I had to put it down it was just too much of buggy mess for me at the time and I don't think I've ever picked it back up since I'm thinking about that maybe I have but I don't think so yeah no. yeah don't know how I went on to this uh, long tangent about video games so I was talking about my, uh, video games with some players but yeah it's really really uh, it's, it's uh, video games have always been a big part of my life I really enjoy them tried streaming for a little bit, it wasn't really for me, but I do enjoy watching streams, I enjoy like the little bits of uh, games that I get to play these days with having kids, you don't really get to play as much as you used to, so yeah. Uh, if you like this video and my other videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification icon, so next time I post a video, you'll get to hear about it first. Thanks for watching.